we must think carefully about how we do mission, God's mission in the world today. It may be quite different from what it was a decade ago or 50 or 100 years ago, but to be prayerfully waiting for the Spirit to guide us, this is what it means to be in mission and in mission together. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in our witnessing for Him in Jerusalem, in Judea, in America, in Hong Kong, in China, in our neighborhood, or in the end of the earth. People are attracted by the Spirit. Love is engendered by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The only true world solution today is guided by the true spiritual religion, the Holy Spirit. It begins with each of us, my fellow believers. The fields are multicolored and multi multicultural for harvest. Come Holy Spirit and fill each of us in this place. The Spirit, Paul writes, sets our minds on the things of Christ. It liberates us from having to establish the meaning of life by the flights of our minds. But the Holy Spirit came to me. I went to evangelize. <laughs> and I was evangelized. Holy Spirit, renew the whole creation, whether expressed through worship, music, prayer, witness, or education. The theme of the 1991 Global Mission events was proclaimed loudly throughout the ELCA as thousands gathered across the country. Seeking to enliven the work of the Holy Spirit in the church, Global Mission events in 1991 were filled with song and praise. People would say, well, what is a GME? Oh. What is it? What happens? And I would uh, stumble around a little bit and say, well, there's, it's an educational experience and it's an inspirational experience. Yeah, but what is it? You know? <laughs> and I would say the only thing that I can tell you is that it is an event when people from all over the world come together and get visited by the Holy Spirit and things happen and changes occur and people go away different. And uh, that still leaves people mystified, but at least it, it clicks something in them, perhaps, that maybe I should check this out. Far more than a retreat, global mission events provide participants with a glimpse of the wide range of activities the ELCA is engaged in at home and worldwide. Not only do participants listen to key program persons from at home and around the globe, they are given an opportunity to meet them in special sessions called Conversations With and in global university workshops. Seven global university sessions offer a wide variety of topics about mission in local congregations, new ministries in North America, and programs around the world. Participants struggle with issues of peace and justice in relationship to their Christian faith. For those who could roll themselves out of bed at the crack of dawn, morning worship services set the spiritual tone for the event. I think it's a very good sign, the global missions. It, um, I think it, uh, it, it breaks a lot of barriers which we have when we read about some other people from afar than when we see them and we, we have a picture of them, we, we feel they are human and the like. I think that's the main important thing about the global event. <laughs> global mission events are designed to have something for all ages. Adults, youth, and children. Yeah, the love that brings to children. Oh. 
important. One, we're trying to give them a chance to be together and, and, and co cooperatively do some stuff together, but also give them some opportunities to uh, learn some things about other cultures, uh, the music. Uh, we've, sing we've sung some songs that they're already familiar with in English and then put uh, uh, other words to them, other languages to them, which has been a lot of fun. This is an event where it takes people of all ages and I don't know, I think these kids are having a really good time doing it. I think it's something they can get involved in. I think that's where I've grown a lot because I can help these kids out now. I can, you know, I've learned from my experience. Perhaps the most colorful activity at a global mission event is the Mission Festival, a multicultural, multi-sensory experience. It's a time to interact with missionaries and other presenters, appreciate crafts and artifacts, and learn about mission across the United States and around the globe. Places like the Middle East, the Soviet Union, Africa, and Asia. Yet for all its colorful activities and programs, Global Mission events are best remembered for their powerful witness to God's mission in today's world. About three months ago, there were two special reports on the French television program. The first was on the famine in the Sudan, an African country neighboring Ethiopia. The pictures were horrible, disgusting. Pictures that leave one with a bitter memory. The next week, there was a second report which showed the lives of cats and dogs in France. The reporter said that there were an estimated number of 17 million cats and dogs in the country. The French spend more than 25 billion francs, you hear me now, 5 billion US dollars per year. This sum includes not only feeding the animal, but taking it to the hairdresser salon. But what has this to do with mission, you might ask? Isn't mission something else? I affirm that the Christian mission, which derives from the Christian God, has everything to do with the situation of this divided world. Mission has everything to do with the ugly and the beautiful, with the haves and the, the should-haves, the dying and the living. The clearer we see, the more we see of what cannot be mended. And in such situations of Mission Impossible, where the just requirements of God's law cannot be achieved, my love for the Christian God soars, a God without common sense and ready explanations, a God who in the darkness on a cross suffered being the God of the unmendable. Make God first in all that you do. If you make God first, he will always bless you. Now, I'm not saying that I haven't had difficulties and problems. I have had many difficulties and problems. Like I mentioned that in this last uh, uprising in our country, my whole house was looted, everything carried, but I still go around happy. I mean, what do, what the only thing it taught me is that possession is not important. You see, all my time I spent getting all of those things, they just went overnight. So it means that you have to place emphasis on something else, something more important than possession. So these have been some of the things that we've had. We've had tests, we've had trials, we have problems, but God has certainly helped us out of these problems. Like I said, your prayers and the prayers of thousands of people all around the world, 
are responsible. I don't think any human being intervened in the uh, calming down of our situation in Liberia. It was actually the prayers of people outside of Liberia, the prayers of people inside of Liberia that have helped us to have our situation calm down. Designed to give participants a greater awareness of mission globally, GMEs are also concerned about local ministry as well. In an effort to reach out to Hispanic migrant workers in the area, Mr. Tito Moreno and Pastor Michael Lundgren visited a labor camp near a GME location and invited residents to attend the event. We were inviting people today to uh, uh, attend the global mission event tomorrow on Saturday and be part of the celebration there. Uh, they have uh, agreed to go with us and we're going to come tomorrow with the bus and pick them up. They will be taking their families, their children, and uh, hopefully, hopefully they will have a good in experience, an enjoyable experience. And uh, for the people at the Global Mission event, we want to give them some exposure to some of the uh, uh, mission that needs to be done even in this area here, not just in other countries, but uh, right here in, in the backyard. Prayer is an important aspect of each Global Mission event. Following the Saturday evening program, participants poured out of the main ballroom onto the campus lawn to pray for countries around the world. Assembling around banners for various countries, individuals prayed and asked for God's divine intervention. Let our prayers rise before you. Let all of those prayers that have been spoken and unspoken rise up to you. And let us go from this place in the real assurance that you are a God who hears and who cares and will enable us to do your will in the world. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. I had no idea that there was, the, the church was so active in so many parts of the world uh, and it's so exciting and and the presenters were so good, and, and the Bible studies, I've, I've been renewed. After being on the field for three years, you, you really get kind of used up spiritually, and this has been very revitalizing for me. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm ready to go back and go at it again. What have you learned at this Global Mission event? Love. Lots of people. Just everything you can imagine is, is here. So much life, so many things to see, so many people to meet. And just, you get the whole world here. I would recommend it to everybody. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the most heartwarming, uplifting experiences you'll ever be able to have. This, if you take a particular event, here in, in Denver and also the other couple of events around the country every year embody the best of what the church is about, literally, when it comes to not just one point of view or one perspective, but so many perspectives joining together in unity and song and in spirit and in uh, struggle as well. And so that's why we're here. It's refreshing, it's empowering, it gives us reason to keep going back home in the old parish. Participants at this year's GMEs came from a multitude of places. Many, like Willis Olson of Lindsburg, Kansas, loaded up the car and drove to the event. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was glorious. We had a wonderful time here. It was our first time, and uh, we'll probably return. For those wishing to attend Global Mission events in 1992, the events will be held in July at three locations across the country. I think Global Mission events are one of the best things we've got going in this church. And uh, the enthusiasm I sense here at this one is the same that I pick up whenever we do this. I see that uh, in, in the years to come, especially as we move toward the new millennium, that one of the major challenges for our church is to become more aware of who we are in the world. Uh, there's a tendency to look inward. Global mission events help us to look outward and to see that we're part of a, a church that uh, touches every corner. May we breathe God's life-giving breath into our bodies, minds, and spirits. May the Holy Spirit empower us for God's loving mission in Jesus Christ. 
May the Holy Spirit renew today's church and world, bringing freedom and life and peace, indwelling and intercession. May the Holy Spirit empower us for God's mission to the entire cosmos, the earth, its nations, and its people. This is a production of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America.